Hello, pilots of the internet, and welcome to Power Up. In this video, I am teaching you how to attach the night flight kit to your paper airplane, and I have to say, I have never had more fun flying the Power Up modules than when I was recording the clips that you will see at the end of this video. So, with that said, let's get started. Power Up Night Flight Kit comes with two different things. It comes with, obviously, a strip of LEDs, which are going to provide the light on the wings, and then something to power those LEDs. You get a power pod that is going to mount to the module itself, and these will obviously mount to the wings of the plane. And this works with many, many paper airplanes. It might work with literally any paper airplane. But in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and quickly fold the invader. If you want a link to the tutorial on the invader, do that, but I'm just gonna speed through it here. And I will be folding with the Power Up Paper Airplane templates, which you can get as well. And the reason I'm doing this is because the template for the invader in this is actually waterproof, which means if you're flying in the dark and it has rained or just dew has collected, that's going to be a really nice advantage to you. You can see this comes with some templates and then also a nice stand for your paper airplanes. So now that we have our plane, obviously we are ready to attach our night flight kit. And in order to do that, there are actually a couple of ways you can do this. One way would just to be uh, to tape this on the exterior of the plane, just kind of line up each side with the angle of the wings and tape it to the leading edge. And I'm not gonna go into any more detail on that. It's pretty straightforward. But another way is to kind of mount this inside the wing itself. And so we can uh, open the plane back up. And if you are also using Invader, you can follow these exactly. Or on another plane, you could kind of just follow the principle. But I am opening this back into this orientation and I want to kind of look in between the spaces of these innermost diagonal creases and then the next diagonal creases here. And what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of tape and I'm going to start by lining up one side and instead of having it face up like this with the white side of the strip up, I actually want the brown side of the strip to be the one that I am working with. And I'm going to try to make sure that I'm going to be leaving some slack in the middle here. So you can see if I'm following that angle, I want this section with the wires to go past my center line. And if you're working with Invader and lining this up right on the edge is a good way to do that. And I'm just going to tape it about here. And I'll go ahead and tape that back edge as well. And now I will do the other side in the same way, but I'm going to allow this slack to kind of gather in the middle. And now I want to push it so that my wires are lined up in the middle. And you'll see you'll have a, a bit of a bulge. So with that extra slack in the middle, now we can fold down right like so and we'll fold in here and we'll fold this point down and now you can see our slack will allow us to swing that forward and you have this nice little loop instead of folding on that glue can you see the glue here is the most vulnerable part this strip folds pretty nicely but you don't want it to fold right where that is glued uh, because your connection can be damaged and then your LEDs will not light up. It's pretty easy to fix just with some glue, but of course you never want it to break to begin with. And we are now attached to our plane with uh, the strip, but of course we also want to attach this power pod to the module. So the way you're going to do that is the same exact way you do the crossbar where you kind of just twist it into place and snap. You're going to do the same thing here where you just line this up perpendicular to the crossbar and twist it into place and snap. And once it snaps, it is securely locked. 
and you want to make sure your wires are pointing toward the module rather than to the propellers. Now we'll go ahead and just slide our module onto the plane, like so, and line our crossbar up right about there where the outer edges are intersecting the leading edges of the wings. Slide your power pod all the way forward to meet that. And now you can just route the wires from here back. I'll give you a close up here. You can see this clip has a little cutout on it. And this clip has kind of two tiny little tabs and you want to slide it in this way. If you do it the other way, it's not going to connect. But if you do it like this, it will allow the connection. And you can just snap that in and you can see we are now glowing. And our right wing is blue and our left wing is red. So give me just a second, I'll turn all these lights off and you can really appreciate exactly what this looks like. And I mean, just look at that glow. That is absolutely so cool. With that, let's get flying.